So, as we earlier talked in cause and effect diagram, we have the effect or the problem which is shown on the head of the fish and all the causes are shown as the fins of the fish. So, here we have a simple example of poor quality as a problem as an effect. What are the things which cause poor quality? And this one is a very general cause and effect diagram. This is not specific to any specific problem. This is a general uh, cause and effect related to any quality problem. Any quality related problem could happen because of people, could happen because of machine, could happen because of any method, management. These are four broad categories I have shown here. Number of times you would see that there are six M's here and when I say six M's, those will be the method, the machine, the measurement, material, manpower and mother nature. So, these six categories normally could be a good starting point to have that discussion, to have that brainstorming that okay, let us talk about machine. What all could cause poor quality when it comes to machine? Okay, someone will say that maintenance is something which could lead to a poor quality and why maintenance? That could be because of wear and tear, that could be because of lack of right tools and let us say if you are talking about the methods, then methods could be lack of procedures, your procedures might be conflicting with each other. So, once you have these broad categories, then you can have discussion and you can go to the sub sub level of the causes. So, the main causes could be these six M's which are machine, method, measurement, material, manpower and mother nature, but then the sub clauses could be as you discussed in the brainstorming. So, this is how you can prepare a cause and effect diagram and then once you have done that, then you can look at each of these causes and discuss that, that which could be the real important cause in your case. Because when you do brainstorming, you really do not restrict anyone from any idea. So, whatever ideas are coming as a part of brainstorming, you keep on collecting that, you keep on putting those on cause and effect diagram, but once you are done with the brainstorming, then you look at each of these causes and think whether that could have caused the problem and with this you can go to the root cause of the problem. So, this was tool number 2 out of 7 basic quality tools.